Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne with Back to Earth Creations and welcome to this week's shop update. We're going to start with the giveaway and if I look like a crazy person, it's because I am in the throes of madness of getting 10 different dragon skulls sculpted uh, for Dragon Con, which is we leave for it in like a week. So, ah, but um, leave a comment on last week's giveaway video, like a shop update video to put your name in the hat for this week's giveaway. So let's go ahead and get the camera flipped around. So we are here at randomcommentpicker.com slash YouTube and this is the only way that we announce the winners. We will not be down in the comments with a telegram or WhatsApp number congratulating everyone and telling them to pay for shipping or um, asking them to contact us via WhatsApp or anything like that. It's a scam. Don't, don't do it. Uh, report them and block them and all that stuff. This is how we announce our winner. So good luck to everyone. Let's do a Lady A, congratulations, Lady A. You are a winner, winner, chicken dinner. If you could send us an email to back to earth creations at yahoo.com with where you would like um, your booty box shipped to, we will get that shipped off to you um, just as soon as, we usually on Mondays, we ship, we ship out on Mondays. Um, good luck to everybody else. If you live outside of the United States, you can participate in our giveaways, but you'll just receive our digital download content. So like all of our written tutorials and coloring pages and leather templates and different things like that. Um, but next week we are giving away another dragon eye. So, or rather in our next giveaway, because, uh, whew, we're getting close up on dragon y'all and it's, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> but yeah, we've been prepping up for Dragon, which has been a steady descent directly into madness. So I'm just, I'm really proud of us that we're just getting a shop update put together this week. I didn't even draw on eyebrows. So let's see what's in the shop update. <laughs> so you can see here, we have a whole mess of red jasper which I think there's also some brecciated jasper mixed in with this, but it, I mean, it's gorgeous. There's so much character in each of these stones. A lot of them have some natural poxing and a couple have some really cool, almost a druzy like formations, though I don't think it's a druzy. I don't know, uh, I mean, it looks like there's some quartz in here, but I need to learn more about geology and different things like that to see what kind of conditions the jasper formed under and if there might be like the mineralization of like geodes and different things or druzies happening in it like in its crystal structure i'm really interested in that sort of stuff and but we have that in our standard four six eight ten and twelve millimeter sizes up on our website back to earth creations.com and we have just a whole mess of moons and hearts and red jasper oval cabochons that are pretty close calibrated they're not perfect but I would use them in tray bezels and stuff and they are a 30 by I think 22 millimeter let's see my handy dandy uh <laughs> ruler so yeah that's a 30 millimeter by it's either 20 or 22 yeah 22 millimeter um on these red jasper cabochons now there's some natural variation in there so i would consider these non-calibrated and calibrated cabochons are ones that are perfect like exact to a measurement so you know for a fact it's going to fit a very particular bezel um but again that being said i've had great success with this cut of stone setting well into like pre-made bezels and stuff so a whole bunch of dichroic glass as well. We, we even had one I found of, I had done a batch of like steampunk ones and I was really pleased with how that came out. And the hearts are the puppy hearts. Now we still don't do uh, grooves on our gemstones right now just because all the gemstones that we have are not particularly great candidates for it because the um, the wall of the stone isn't quite tall enough. Sorry, my finger, I'm realizing, um, look like a like a ragamuffin um but i just i've been sculpting and stuff and so i super glued a whole bunch of foam to my hands on accident um as part of the creative process i'm sure <laughs> so there are pictures though of all of the cabochons um up on the website so or at least any that haven't already been purchased and there'll be a picture on a one inch grid square as well as a picture of the stone just like in our hands or in my hand so that you can see 
you kind of, and if we take a picture of one side, we typically flip it over and get a picture of the other side um, in the second picture uh, when it's something that could be either sided, like these puffy hearts, which are really pretty. And then, um, now this is just what's new to the shop as well. We do still have quite a bit of other cabochons uh, up there, both gemstone and fused glass. Now, any of the cabs that are a good candidate for having a groove added will have that option on there. And just about all of our homemade fused glass is fantastic for having a groove added because it's got a nice deep wall. We don't have to worry about any, you know, fracturing or anything like that. And I just love the colors and the shimmer and the character in each of these stones. We also have some little opalite moons that I'd meant to do in our opalite shop update, um, but they were in the back of my stash, so I didn't see them. So, and oh, and, and one hematite, one hematite puffy heart, which we do still have a tutorial coming soon, which if y'all are new to the channel, uh, welcome, hello. Uh, we do new shop updates every Monday, new tutorials every Thursday, and live streams every Friday. Um, the live streams are from 2 to 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, and then we do like an hour-long intermission and start back up again at 5 p.m. Uh, to our YouTube channel members, Patreon supporters, and Happy Crafter Club members, which our Happy Crafter Club is um, a monthly subscription service that you can either, you know, just sign up for the digital benefit starting at a dollar which is pretty sweet I think um, or you can sign up for one of our craft kits which is you know a box that has our homemade cabochons as well as wire from our favorite company parawire.com um, and uh, we do an accompanying project with that kit every month so it's really great for you know if you if you want to get into wire wrapping or just want to you know maybe experience some different cabochons and wire that you might not you know already have been in you know purchasing or working with um gosh that's so fun but we do have some options for just cabochons as well uh for the subscription kits for so if you uh do bead work or if you like chain mail or leather working or polymer clay um our cabochons work well with all of that stuff now i think that's everything Ooh, let's go look at what we've been working on so please excuse the poor lighting um but this is what we finished up in our most recent uh, live stream after party and that is for our one dollar and up uh, club members we just hung out and sculpted and then this is the one that we were working on in the main live stream which I'm really really pleased with and then this one I've been working on off camera and this one is the last one that we have from 2019 which was my very first batch of um kind of dragon head or dragon skulls like this and so all day I've been working on getting all of the skulls up to kind of the base process we use the crazy bones uh ram and gazelle skulls which I guess I think their gazelle skulls are out of commission which I am like devastated about because I absolutely loved the gazelle skulls for combining the ram and gazelle like look together and then we have some like these two here that we made our own horns. And then, oh, we also have this one, <laughs> this guy here, which I had made some other um, smaller horns to go with that today too. But I'm getting all of them before I get to stop working today <laughs> at the time of recording. I have, I want to get all of these guys with the freeform air, like kind of sculpted around. So like you can see, where's a good example? Well, this one right here, I guess. So this is kind of how the join joinery would look and stuff like I fill it in with pieces of foam I use a whole lot of hot glue like it's caulking um and then I go over it with the freeform air to blend out you know any of the oddness that kind of happens and I also put on the uh the snouts so step one is doing this to the skulls step two is doing the freeform air and then step three is doing the tops uh like this one here but then step four is I'm going to be adding like the teeth and the top of the mouth and stuff as well as the part where you can wear this on your head because let me show you real quick. So we designed these so that they can be worn kind of with like an elastic bit around your head. So for those of y'all who've been following the channel for quite a while, these are very similar in concept to the 
Spyro the Dragon headdress that I had made. So, but also they're just wicked cool like wall art. Like, ah! And also we've been posting shorts and stuff here on the channel and finally figuring out how to do short form format a little bit maybe. And um, ah, I'm just, I'm so like energized and excited to be crafting and making, like getting ready for dragon. Oh my gosh, if y'all are in the area for that, um, it's Atlanta, Georgia, Labor Day weekend, dragoncon.com, uh, like, there, there'll be a link down below, maybe, too, for everything. So I'm going to let you guys go, and I'm going to get back to work. But thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out, and I will see y'all in this week's tutorial. So until then, you guys, happy crafting. Mwah. Oh, yeah, don't forget, we've got a bunch of, like, coupons and stuff. Check it out down in the description. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>